To create a ticket in ServiceNow, navigate to ut.service-now.com slash UTSS. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and select Create Ticket. You'll be prompted to log in if you are not already logged in. Use your EID and EID password to authenticate. On the Create Ticket form, enter a short description of your issue and use the additional information field to include details about your issue to help your technician assist you further. Verify that the requested by and requested for information is correct. The requested by information should automatically fill in with the logged in user's credentials. If you hover over the information icon, you can verify what uh, name and contact information is associated with that user. The requested for field can be used separately if you are submitting the ticket on behalf of another user. Enter the user's name or EID to search for them. And again, you can use the I information icon to verify that you've found the correct person. You can also do a more complex search by clicking the magnifying glass, which allows you to use a filter and various filter conditions to further refine your search. Verify that the contact information for the requested for user is correct. If an alternate contact should be used, use the alternate phone contact or the alternate email contact fields to do so. You can also enter a location if the ticket is in relation to a particular classroom or conference room. At the bottom of the form, you'll find self-service knowledge articles that include keywords from the short description you entered previously. Review these before you submit the ticket to make sure that your question cannot be addressed using self-help knowledge. If you still need assistance, click Submit at the bottom of the form to submit your ticket. Once your ticket is submitted, you'll get a confirmation message and you'll receive an email indicating that your contact has been received. All tickets submitted through the self-service website are triaged by the UT Service Desk. Once they have directed your ticket to the appropriate fulfillment group, you will receive another email notification with your ticket number and the ability to click into the ticket to view additional information or add comments if necessary.